Oh, I want I, the question that I have. Uh, I want to know if he's gonna get the justice for my brother and re arrest all the officers and convict them. Can you hear him, Sarah? Okay, he. I just want to make sure I've got this right. He arrest wants to know if he justice is going for to his get brother. Arrest and convict and arrest all the officers. The other officers. All the officers. I will ask him that question. Just give me one second. Yes, ma'am. Chief, may I ask you? I'm so sorry, and I, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I, I know. I'm so sorry, but the Floyd family. The Floyd family actually has a question for you. They just talked to me in my ear. I, I, I'm sorry. The Floyd family is asking me a question. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. The Floyd family has asked if you are going to get justice for George Floyd by making sure that the other officers are arrested and that eventually convicted. They they want to, and I know that there are things that you cannot control, but they want to know if the other officers should be arrested in your mind and if you see that they should all four be convicted in this case. And this is the Floyd family right now? This is the Floyd family. To, to the Floyd family, um, being silent or not intervening to me, you're complicit. So I don't see a level of distinction any different. Um, so uh, obviously it, the charging and those decisions will have to come through our county attorney's office. Certainly the FBI is investigating that. But to the Floyd family, I want you to know that my decision to fire all four officers was not based on some sort of hierarchy. Mr. Floyd died in our hands and so I, I, I see that as being complicit. So that, that is about as much as I, and I apologize to the Floyd family if I uh, am not more clear, but um, uh, I don't see a difference in, in terms of uh, the ultimate outcome is he is not here with us. And you that's don't see a difference between what Officer Chauvin did and the three other officers who, some of who kneeled down as well, but some of whom just watched, you see that all as the same act. Silence and inaction, you're complicit. You're complicit. If there were one solitary voice that would have intervened and act, that, that that's what I would have hoped for. Uh, unfortunately, that's what you would have expected from your officers, yes? Absolutely, and that did not occur. So to the Floyd family, I, I hope that that's my that's my response. Yeah. And, and Thank Filonis, you so much, Chief. Do you have Chief, another question? What's, what's your response? What's your response to Filonis? Uh, they arrest guys every day they had enough evidence to fire them so they have enough evidence to arrest them i don't know who he's talking to but i need him to do it because we all are listening black lives matter sarah um that was an incredible interview that you did and it was the first time uh, you know, I don't, you have you, hang on, Sarah, but you, you haven't spoken to anyone at the police department, I'm not sure, Felonis, correct me if I'm wrong, have you spoken to them directly? So that was really the first interaction that you've had with the police department since your brother's death. So Sarah, in the course of this, uh, this broadcast we have been able to connect the family with the police department through your interview um, right. for the first time I, I can't yeah. tell you Don what that's doing to me to hear them have this conversation through me to the to the chief sorry um, to hear the pain in the Floyd family's voice and to have to convey that I hope that I did the right thing for them because I know that they are hurting so, so badly. But I do want to recognize that when the police chief, every time I said that the Floyd family has a question for you, took off his hat. he took his hat off. Yeah. So he wanted to make sure to be respectful. And I know that, that they are angry. I know you are angry and I know you are hurting. And I know it's not enough. You cannot bring George Floyd back. But you heard what he said, that each and every officer who did not speak up against what was happening is complicit. This is the police chief saying that. This is the police chief. Don, have you ever heard that before in your life? I have not. 
in all of the 12 years I have covered so many protests across the world, and I have never seen a police chief say this, but I know it doesn't cure the ills that the Floyd family is dealing with and that all the people in this neighborhood are dealing with right now. So I hope, I hope and pray that I was able to convey what they wanted to the chief in this first time, being able to hear from the chief directly their questions, their concerns.